Welcome back to Emperor's Light. It's me, Tony, back with your channel to record messages today. We're going to be getting into your love reading. Subscribe to the video, liking the video, and subscribing to the channel so that we continue to grow. We're going to be pulling some messages from the ethers for the collective today. For anyone needing to watch this reading, <laughs> anyone needing to watch this reading, yeah, there's something magical that's about to happen. So, yeah. All the messages may not resonate. <clears throat> mm. You'll know what story is yours. Let's get into the messages for the watcher today. In regards to the matters of the hearts. What do they need to know in regards to love and romance today, spirit? So, yeah, we're using the Moon and the Stars Tarot deck today. Hopefully, you guys have been having a good day. Let's get into it. I did the 12 Zodiac signs today as well, so you might want to check out those. Right? Per your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node placements. And here we have an extended love message for you. So... Nine of Cups, yeah, options, wish fulfillment. So your current energy is today, wish fulfillment. That's what's surrounding you. That's what's coming toward you. So whether this is your energy or the person that's coming towards you's energies, someone sees someone as wish fulfillment here. Seven of Cups, yeah, someone has multiple options. Delusion, it says. But again, that's multiple cups here. Someone could be very intuitive. It's actually the, the uh, Seven of Cups is intuition, right? So there could be a smoke screen around this situation. Someone can be mm, like a tar, tall, dark, and handsome type of uh, energy or a woman that is, um, let's see. Of course, she could uh, possibly be very intuitive, but it's someone that keeps you guessing, I'm going to say. Like... Um, she doesn't overexpose herself. What do they say? She keeps um, she keeps you guessing. We got the six of wands showing up. Leaving something to the imagination. Yeah, okay. So imagination here with the seven of cups. So six of wands, pedestalization, right? Achievement, victories. Could be movement as well. Seven of wands. Yeah, someone very attractive. They're very, um, they keep themselves up here. Resilience. Person can be very uh, defensive here or standoffish. They have a strong personality, right? Two sevens showing up here. So this person could be a very, uh, I already said intuitive. So I'm not sure if this person is lucky. Page of Swords. This person is a learner. I'm getting they learn fast. They're able to read their surroundings. Education here. Yeah. So someone that takes a lot of notes, this could be a reader. Possibly this person is spying on you. So this could be social media activity as well. Page of Pentacles, token of appreciation. Mm -hmm. Prospects, so someone's prospecting you at this time. The devil, okay, so yeah, this is an obsession. Probably an investigation as well. Mm -hmm. Someone's developing an attraction to you, a strong attraction. This could be a Capricorn. Or someone that's a very hard worker. Ten of Cups. Yeah, they see wishes coming with you here. Grinding a reading Nine of Cups. And it evolves into a Ten of Cups. So maybe you have a lot of friends. Or this person has a lot of friends. High intuition. High levels of attraction as well. Bravery. Inwardly and outwardly. Beauty. Strength. Determination. Resilience comes out on top of seven of wands resilience see a very determined individual seems like a very proud individual as well right this person could carry some sort of an air of superiority or royalty about them yeah they're able to defend themselves or protect themselves they probably have either uh, ancestors protecting them or they have some sort of an energetic field around them the knight of cups 
sorry, the king of cups on top of the page of swords. Yeah, this person could be writing poetry or, as well or writing love notes. Maybe they like watching rom-coms, comedies, or romance movies, or reading romance books. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. Seven of Pentacles on top of the page of Pentacles. Yeah. This person likes to this person likes to build things. Possibly multiple things at once. Hopefully this is in multiple relationships at once. Now this person could have definitely had a lot of prosperous relationships in the past. Yeah, we get seven seven seven. This person is lucky here. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this person has had any rough relationships in the past. Yeah, vision. This person has vision. Yeah. Seems like a, someone that... Um, it seems like a lot of people like this person. Like, this person is worthy of building something with here. Like, building a legacy or um, some sort of a foundation with, right? That word came to mind. Lineage as well. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. The Devil. Yeah, this person has some sort of an odd work or odd job as well. Not a lot of people have this person's talent. So they may be some sort of a clairvoyant or something like that, an energy reader. Or just a lot of people does not have this person's work ethic. The hermit. Yeah, this could be like some sort of a yoga instructor or something like that. Um, an accountability specialist. It's giving up sad guru vibes. This person has a lot of self-love. They enjoy their alone time in solitude. Yeah. The hermit is also introspection, right? So it's spiritual awakening. Mm. Inwardly strength here. Yeah. So double doubling up on them, them knowing who they are, their inward strength. Ooh, people may be intimidated by this person because of this reason, because we live in a superficial world at this point. And this person, they have self-love, self-knowledge. They're even protected. Mm. They have some sort of a protection. Nine of Wands. Could be a traveler. Someone that went through a lot of tough karmic cycles physically here. I mean, maybe they're an athlete here. A mountain climber. Or they enjoy like... Um, maybe they like... This is like... Um, so what I'm thinking in my head is like... This person likes adversary. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I can't see. I'm, I'm getting confused here. Not confused, but my words are getting misconstrued here. So again, this person makes people nervous here. But they like to put obstacles in front of themselves to make them better. The Six of Cups. Okay. This could be someone that you know or that you have memories with. Possibly someone that you grew up with. This person is a helper. This person is known as being a helper here in the past. Yeah, their, rep their reputation precedes them or follows them. They possibly helped out a lot of people in the past. So if this isn't like a, a lot of a multiple relationships, that, okay, so maybe they're not romantic relationships, but they built a lot of positive networks. Yeah. I'm getting whenever you call me, I'll be there. Okay, so we got the King of Swords. So, yeah, this is a divine masculine here, an emperor. They're very knowledgeable, very skilled at writing, learning, teaching, motivational speaker even. This could be a therapist or a psychologist, a doctor even. Yeah, there's some sort of a guru. Yeah, there could be some sort of a spiritual master or something like that. Which explains why this person, a lot of people like this person. This person also makes a lot of people nervous. Yes, that's, an, that's again, that's an unconventional job, being like a hermit or some sort of a guru or something like that. This person doesn't work regular nine to five jobs. Like, for instance, I've never worked a fast food job a day in my life. Nothing against it. You make your money is how you need to make your money. Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, they're a hard worker, very thorough. If their opinion is valued here, perfection. Mm -hmm. People see this person as perfection. 
or this person that's coming towards you or these people that's coming towards you in a romantic sense to see you as perfection, man. Like uh, the perfect person to be in a relationship with, to build something with, like a dream guy or dream girl. Immaturity here with the Knight of Wands, yeah. They are, um, this could be people traveling far and wide. It's like a, it's giving off a pilgrimage vibes or a rites of passage coming to learn because it comes out right on top of this hermit and ten of cups, six of wands. Yeah, it reminds me of like a, um, what do you call a bunch of refugees at once, like a mass migration or like a bunch of people going to one person uh, to learn something here. It could even be sexual in the windows. You have strong creativity here or strong sacral chakra. Six of swords. Yeah, it's a vacation. It's a movement here. It says movement on the card. Yeah. This could even be mental clarity, right? This is a, a this is wise counsel. Okay. Yeah, they give sound advice. They make people stronger. Kanye West vibe, stronger. Yeah. So after people leave this person, they become more spiritual, uh, possibly more, uh, they leave with more mental clarity. They have more confidence. The internal GPS uh, is upgraded. Five of wands, yeah, chaos, a change. You change they change you. Mm -hmm. This person changes people. This is also paparazzi as well. This could even be a competition. If this is in regards to romance, I mean, you can only be with one person. So, I mean, this person, they may either uh, enjoy their solitude and would rather be single than have uh, chaos erupt around them by developing favorites or having people uh, fight over them. The world card completion. You know, this is a traveler or some sort of a sage or guru. They can have an online platform or some sort of a... Yeah, they're on social media. This could be like a TikToker or maybe they're on Twitter. This could be like, okay, so I'm also getting Elon Musk vibes. Okay. I don't know. Would I compare him to a, a Dalai Lama or a Sai Guru? <laughs> One more row. Temperance, Earth Angel, Sagittarius. So, yeah, again, this is an avid traveler. Um very popular individual, someone with a lot of presence. They're a healer. Again, this person could teach yoga or possibly Reiki or something like that. The Empress, Divine Feminine, yeah. Libra, um, Taurus, Major Arcana. So this person could be seen as a very divine individual. A lot of people can look at this person as a, a mother figure or a father figure here. of cups yeah, wanting to develop close friendships with this individual right? soulmates uh, hmm. I don't see children here I mean this could very well be a teacher though this could be teaching older people though yeah, I don't know maybe people that have gone through it's like people that need more enlightenment or something like that or like, um, like they, they're leaving the regular mundane life. And this is going to start happening more and more in the future. Um, I just see the world changing up in a different type of way. People are start, going to start leaving these jobs. And it's not just about leaving the jobs. It's like people want more out of life than what's going on right now. So people are going to start um, not necessarily going into solitude or isolation, but people are becoming more, people are becoming more spiritual, right? Um, talking about zodiac signs and that sort of thing not saying that that's that's the wave of that's that's like the big thing everyone's talking about now but yeah this person may be some sort of a leader of a new uh revelation or some sort of a new ideology here ten of pentacles very successful yeah possibly a business that this person has right i mean if you really pay attention to most um ancient gurus they did make a business off of it I mean, they're not, they're not necessarily living, living in poverty, right? Strong legacy. Again, a foundation. Yeah, they have some sort of a foundation or nonprofit foundation, basically. Uh, let's see. What's the last card here? Four of Wands. Mm. 
celebrations here. This person, they may have like a holiday named after them or something like that. Or this could be the trajectory of this person. Also known as the twin flame card. So strong connections here when it comes to personal relationships and the home life. Right? Again, foundations. Right? This person possibly um, provides a home for people, a safe haven for people. It's like a church, right? People go to church when they need uh, healing or benediction or something like that. Say, for instance, if they were dealing with a pope, preacher, or a pastor, or some sort of a healer. Mm, what's at the bottom of the deck? Nine of Cups, Eight of Wands. Yeah, speed. A lot of people coming towards this person. Or, I mean, if this is you, this is a lot of incoming... Uh, communication. So again, I don't know if you have a business or if you're some sort of a healer, a teacher, a doctor, a guru, or something like that. Yeah, boy, you got the emperor coming in. Mm -hmm. So a divine counterpart. People see you as it's almost like if they can't rely on anyone else, they can rely on you. But this very well may be um, the emperor and the empress. The last card to show up was the four of wands. So this could be calling in your soulmate or this person calling in their soulmate. So divine counterparts meeting up here. Mm -hmm. Twin flame soulmate union, right? And this person is already changing the world. So again, yeah, this 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 person, um, this this person's person is coming in. <laughs> so I mean, this may be a couple, um, and there's a lot of couples. You know, they have their own life purpose, and then they come together to create an even bigger goal, right? Hmm. Let's check the major arcana before we close out the reading here, just to give you some clarification about what's going on. We have strength. Got Leo and bravery. So a lot of internal strength, a lot of, uh, it's like this person has a big personality or a large presence. A lot of people around the world know this person. Or again, this is the trajectory this person on. Again, this could be social media. They could have a big following. Temperance, a healer, right? Again, a traveler. This person's possibly a motivational speaker. Or they go around healing or teaching people the proper way to do things. The devil and the hermit. The boss and the assistant. Yeah. Just like we have um, the emperor and the empress showing up here. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, someone very hardworking. They're very determined. What I'm getting is that they're very uh, they're very responsible, but it's another word that I want to use. They're very, um, is it determined here? Um, hmm. But, yeah. Nonetheless, the, uh, the union of an emperor and an, and an empress. This person also may have a... Um, they may very well have a well-developed masculine presence and feminine presence as well. Your court cards. Two kings. King of swords and king of cups. They're possibly very romantic, right? Yeah, I mean, there a lot of people like this individual, right? They can get along with anyone. They probably wrote some sort of a book, an author, a director. Right, I did mention they're on social media, so they could have some sort of a platform, or they're a content creator. Two pages. Yeah, their divine counterpart or their person is coming in, so they may have children, or they may work well with children. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, prospects and education. Yeah, so they work well with children. Again, right? This would be like people saying, like a grown person saying, "Oh, that's my." That's my boss, or that's my leader, or that's my spiritual father, or, or my spiritual mother, or something like that. Like, this person raised me outside of my family, my real parents, right? Nine of Wands. <clears throat> a, lot of, a lot of people... Um, Yeah, again, I'm getting like a, a movement, like a bunch of people coming towards this person, wanting to develop their creative abilities, their creative skills and talent. 
is almost like this person is able to unveil a person's their uh, spiritual gifts or whatever earthbound talent or skill is right sometimes sometimes people feel like they don't have any purpose or worth right <laughs> And it takes that person uh, that can look within you and bring out your truth, your, your true self, basically. So I'm guessing that's what this person does. They help people with develop some sort of an internal value or help them realize the potential within themselves. Right? That's what uh, senseis and teachers and gurus are for. Right? That's why people seek them out or even pay a, a pretty penny to um, to speak with them. Numerology. Two of Cups, so yeah, soulmate or soul tribe. This person has a big family, or a, they make friends wherever they go. Don't see any threes. We got fours, or a four, four um, wands. So a very grounded individual, very deeply spiritual and stable individual. And this person may. Um, may have their uh, lover headed towards them or already in their life here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you notice, most great leaders, um, they do have a spouse, right? right. <laughs> five of Wands, Five of Pentacles. I still don't even know whether this is a man or a woman, right? But again, this person is well-balanced and masculine and they're feminine. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands. Yeah, people seeking them out in competition to get their time. This is like making reservations at a nice restaurant, right? People have to make reservations for this person's time. This person has to screen people or whoever this person works with has to screen people. Are you sure you want to change your life? This is not something that's just you can jump in and out of, that type of thing. Six of swords and six of cups. So again, this person helps people develop mental clarity, self-love within themselves. People leave this person with positive memories. This person possibly had an interesting childhood as well. It's almost like lead by example. Or we had another six, so six, six, six. Yeah, this person, they surrendered to self-care. I mean, and that's the thing, we don't necessarily need gurus and sages and all that type of stuff like listen to your internal compass like people know what's right and what's wrong here this person is just they simply surrender to the universe right so surrender to the process of self-love and self-care and that type of thing right the thing is that people hear self-love nowadays and it's just another hashtag another catchword and they don't really know what that is right we got sevens so three sixes and three sevens. Very divine individual, if I must say so myself. And they're very protective. They don't let people take advantage of them, right? Again, they self-love. When she develops self-love, it lays the blueprint for people to approach people how they need to approach them, right? Like a homeless person. People going to walk all over and kick dirt in the homeless person's eyes, right? That's how they see people, disrespectful, right? <laughs> but there's this one great... Uh, poem that said you, you got to respect everyone because you never know like there's a there's this uh story or this poem that i read one time where it was like you never know who who's an earth angel right you don't know everyone's waiting for god you don't know who god is there's 10 billion people on this planet so be respectful to everyone right eight again a hard worker very thorough individual right people see this person as perfect or a perfectionist nine of wands they may even have fear of this individual like they don't want to see this person angry <laughs> like like can you imagine seeing a very serene person get angry like in the bible it says god has personality he gets mad right in certain script scriptures it literally says god is slow to anger so while people think that god is all about love and light and god doesn't get angry god obliterated the human race multiple times, right? Because he was angry. <laughs> All right, we got 10 of Pentacles and 10 of Cups. So yeah, a person with, um, they're very abundant when it comes to finances, very abundant when it comes to their relationships, friendships. They have a big family. It's almost like a agape love. Like once this person meets you, gives you a handshake and hugs you, you immediately become a family. 
even after learning from them or whatever the case may be, possibly even hearing stories about this person, you become more connected to this individual. So yeah, that's what I have for you, man. Uh, divine masculine, divine feminine. Mm -hmm. Very open-minded individual is what I'm getting as well. They possibly walked many paths. Yeah, I don't even know what else to say, right? This person leaves people speechless. Mm -hmm. But like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reading. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.